Yo, what's up, you guys? Pluto here. I'm coming at you with a new tutorial on the uh, TV, Motion Track TV, which is about to come up in a few seconds. But yeah, and here it is right here. See how it's a Motion Track? It's a uh, Motion Track to the TV. That's what we'll be doing today. So let's get this mother on the road. Alright. So, first, you want to get your clip and then drag it to the drag it into your composition, cut accordingly. Okay, let's see. I have it about like three seconds. I don't need it that long. Oh my goodness, I hate this freaking thing. Oh my goodness. I hate this little uh, Camtasia stuff. I can't use the key, uh, keypad to use my shortcuts. Alright. So now you want to do, go to your club, right click it, go to track camera, and then hit render track points. And this is going to take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to pause it right here. Be back soon. Okay, I'm back and it's finished uh, rendering the track points. So now you want to do is go to your club and find a nice, like, flat spot on whatever you want it to be most tracked on. So I'm going to do it here. Just click on it. And then now you want to do a right click, go to create solid and camera. Alright, now you want to do, go down to your track solid, right click, and pre-compose it. And leave all attributes. Click that. <coughs> so go into your pre uh, composition, and then delete your solid. And then go back to composition up top, composition settings, or control K. And change the uh, width to 1280 and the height to 720. Hold up. Or is it 720 and then 1280? Or go to custom and then go to HDV, HDTV, 720, 29.27. Then change the frame weight, frame rate to 59.94. Alright, there you go. So now... You want to get your clip or whatever you want motion track. So I'm gonna get like an intro from down here somewhere. Let's see. I'm gonna get the uh, Meek 100K intro. If I can find it, here it is. All right. So all you wanna do is go back to your composition. I mean your pre comp and drag it in, and then. Yeah, then go back to your regular clip. You see how it's right here? You want to go to the beginning, and then you want to uh, adjust the scale and position. So go to press S on your keypad, and then press Shift and P. All right, so you want to drag it down. Just basically, just get it, you know, level it out and flat, and just get it straight out, basically. You see, I gotta, I gotta rotate it. Whoa. All right. And there was another effect in here. I have to find it. I have to pause right here and find it. That. Oh, you'll see. I'll pause real quick. <clears throat> All right. I found the effect. Just go into your effects and presets and type in corner. And then corner pin should pop up and drag it on to your pre comp. And then zoom in a little bit. Like 50%. Maybe 100%. Yeah. And then just keyframe, go to the beginning and keyframe all of these. So all you want to do is drag the point up to the corner of the screen. And then. This one here, then this one. So pretty much, basically, this is all you have to do. Just uh, get it nice and right, and scale it up perfectly, and then it should be motion tracked. Well, see you guys. Let me pre-render. I don't know why it takes so long to render. All right, guys, take a take a look at the pre-rendered version. Basically, that's really it, guys. I mean, it's pretty much simple. <coughs> well, 
uh, if this helped you, you know, leave a like and comment. I really do appreciate it. And um, stay tuned for next time. Peace, you guys.